Hello, and thank you for joining me in this presentation on studying abroad at the University of Central Florida for 2021-2022. In this presentation, we'll be going over why you should study at UCF, Orlando, Florida and its surroundings, UCF's various campuses, the different housing options that you will have as an exchange student, the different majors offered for exchange students at UCF, semester dates, and the application process. So first things first, why study at UCF? Out of all the choices you have in the United States and in the world, why should you study here? One, UCF is a very young university. We were founded in 1963. So if you come to UCF, you'll be joining a very young and diverse student and alumni body. Two, there are 225 different degrees offered at UCF. So even though you'll be coming to UCF for a specific major, we have a wide variety of classes for you to choose from. Three, UCF is the largest university in Florida by enrollment with more than 69,000 students, 59,000 of which are undergrad, and UCF is one of the largest universities in the United States in general. Our main campus is over 1,400 acres, so even though we have a large population, you'll have plenty of space to explore and be you. And as we move through the presentation, you'll see that there's plenty more reasons to come to UCF and Orlando. Before we move on, I'd like to show you all a quick video showcasing just a few of the achievements and accolades that UCF has accomplished in its short history. Now that we've covered a few reasons why you should study at UCF, let's take a look at the location of UCF. UCF is located in Orlando, Florida, which is located in the southeastern portion of the United States. For those of you not familiar with the United States geography, we'll start with a zoomed in view of Orlando and then move further out just so you can get a better grasp of its location and surroundings. So what I have pictured here is Lake Eola, which is located in the heart and center of downtown Orlando. This picture is taken looking west, and I've highlighted a few major landmarks surrounding Lake Eola in three different directions. So if you were to go further west and drive a little bit more than an hour, you would find yourself in Tampa, which is one of the major cities and ports here in Florida, located on the Gulf of Mexico. Located just 20 minutes from Tampa is Clearwater Beach, which is one of the top rated beaches in the world and the number one rated beach in the United States. If we were to go in the opposite direction and go east of Lake Eola, 
we would find UCF just 20 minutes away from downtown Orlando. Go even further east, around 40 minutes away from UCF, we'd find ourselves on the east coast of Florida, where you can find the Kennedy Space Center, Cocoa Beach, and Port Canaveral, which is another major port here in Florida located along the Atlantic Ocean. Now back to Lake Eola. If we were to go south, we'd find Universal Studios and the Walt Disney World Resort just around 20 minutes away. And just for a sense of scale of how close you are to the theme parks, UCF is only around 30 to 40 minutes away from all the major theme parks. Now that we've looked at the immediate area surrounding Orlando, let's zoom a little further out and look at Orlando and the state of Florida. So the first thing I wanna highlight is our state flag. If you're unaware, all 50 states in the US have their own state flag and this one has ours. The state capital of Florida is Tallahassee, which is located in Northern Florida. Florida is the fourth most populated state in the US and Orlando is the fourth most populated city in Florida. Taking a look at the map, I've marked with a red arrow and a UCF logo where we're located relevant to the rest of the state. As you can see, we're called the University of Central Florida for a reason, as we are located pretty much right in the center of Florida. With that being said, we have a great location if you're interested in exploring other parts of Florida. If you were interested in going to Miami, it would just be a three and a half to four hour drive south, or you could fly there in about 45 minutes. If you wanted to go to Pensacola and what is called the Panhandle of Florida, it would be about six hours driving or an hour and a half long flight. Or maybe you'd be interested in going to Jacksonville or potentially crossing over to the state of Georgia. That would be about two hours driving or a 30 minute flight if that. So no matter where you wanna to go to in Florida, UCF and Orlando is a great home base. Now that we've looked at Florida, let's zoom even further out and take a look at UCF and its relevant location to the United States. The first thing I wanna mention and highlight is the size of the United States. To get a better grasp of how big the US is, if you can imagine Europe and all of its countries, you can fit almost the entirety of Europe in the contiguous United States. With that being said, even though the country is large, I would encourage you to travel around the US and even outside the US during your time here. Flights to different states and countries surrounding the US are relatively cheap compared to if you were to purchase tickets abroad. I've listed here some of the more popular locations that our exchange students travel to during their time here at UCF. So let me just go ahead and show you on the map where these locations in the US are. So first we have Miami, Florida, which again is really close to UCF, but our students also travel all around the United States to places such as Washington DC, which is the capital of the United States, New York, Chicago, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and even Seattle, which is on the other side of the United States. As you can see by the locations, our students do get around a lot and they all have great experiences traveling around the US. Because while the United States is one country, every state is very different in terms of culture, food, climate, environment, and even the language sometimes. Another thing of note is that UCF is only 20 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport, so traveling will be pretty easy and accessible while you are here. Now that we've looked at the location of UCF and relevance to Orlando and the United States, let's head back to Orlando and look at one of the bigger draws of coming here, the weather. As you can see, we have an average high for the year of 29 degrees Celsius and an average low for the year of 18 degrees Celsius. So if you don't like the cold and you like the heat, Florida will be perfect for you. We do experience a rainy season between June and September. So if you are here during the summer, the weather isn't particularly great because you'll experience rain almost every day. But if you enjoy the rain, you'll enjoy Florida during the summer months. But if you're here during the fall or spring semester, which most of you will be, we do have a dry season between October and April. So the weather should be perfect during your time here. And one thing that I don't have written down, but I'll let the pictures do the talking, is that the sky in Orlando is absolutely beautiful year round. A lot of our exchange students talk about how they love the climate and weather here, and they always talk about how they love the different colors that the sky in Orlando gets. The first picture in the top left is actually at UCF at Milliken Hall. The one right below that is at Epcot at Walt Disney World. And the one to the right of that is at Lake Yola during Christmas time. And Florida will probably be one of the only places you'll see Christmas lights around palm trees. Now that we've talked a bit about the location of UCF, let's talk about the campuses themselves. So UCF has three main campuses. The UCF main campus, which is located in East Orlando, which is pictured here in the top left. 
the downtown campus, also known as Union West, which is pictured in the middle, and the Rosen College of Hospitality Management, which is pictured in the bottom left. There are free shuttles between the campuses, so if you have an event that you would like to go to or want to visit a friend at another campus, you can most definitely do that. And the campus that you go to will be dependent on the coursework that you're taking. So let's first talk about the main campus and some of its features. The main campus is our oldest and biggest campus and is where the majority of classes and events are held. With it being the largest campus, it holds the most facilities and I've highlighted a few in the list here. First, we have our student union, which can be seen pictured in the top right. The student union is the center and heart of campus and features many restaurants, study areas, computer labs, and also houses student government. If you noticed in the previous slide in the aerial view of the campus, the campus is shaped like a wheel and the easiest and quickest way to get to any part of campus is through the student union. So if you're taking classes at the main campus, expect to walk through there a lot. Next, we have Lake Clare which isn't pictured here, but Lake Clare is a recreational area where there's a lake, an outdoor picnic area, beach volleyball court, and large grass fields. Many students like gathering here after class and during the weekends. Students can rent out canoes and paddle boards to enjoy on the lake free of charge. Next is the University Writing Center, where you can consult with staff about writing. If you're writing a paper for a class and you're unsure about how it's coming along, you can go to the Writing Center and ask for help. We also have a health center on campus, so if you're feeling sick, need medicine, or need dental work done, you don't have to go off campus unless it's a really big emergency, and they'll take care of you there. Next is the Counseling and Psychological Services Center, or CAPS. We understand that being away from home and just the stress of being in college in general can be a lot, so if you do need to talk to somebody, you can go to CAPS, and it'll be completely anonymous and free for our students. Next is the math lab, where you can go for tutoring and help with your math classes. We have multiple engineering labs. Some are dedicated for just brainstorming. Some are dedicated for software development and troubleshooting. And we also have an engineering lab with equipment to work on projects such as 3D printers and laser cutters. We also have a very large library on campus where you can check out not only books, but you can check out equipment such as computers, tablets, and cameras. There is an observatory on campus. It's not open all the time, but there are opportunities throughout the semester to go and check that out. There are three major computer labs on campus with over 100 computers each, but there are quite a few smaller computer labs throughout the campus. There are two gyms on campus. Our main gym is extremely large and has multiple pools, multiple basketball courts, a full cardio floor, a full weightlifting floor, yoga studios, racquetball courts, and even a rock climbing wall. There are two large dining halls on campus with buffet style eating, and we also have over 20 restaurants on the main campus and close to a dozen cafes. So if you're hungry or need coffee, you won't have to travel far. Next, let's talk about Knights Plaza and the Athletic Village, which is located on the north side of the main campus. I wanted to give this area's own slide so I can talk a bit more about college sports. College sports here in the United States is very unique in that it's as big, if not bigger, than some of the professional sports leagues here in the US. There's a lot of passion and rivalry in college sports, and that just makes it a lot more fun, in my opinion. When you attend our games, you not only feel like a student at UCF, but you feel like you're part of a team, and that's something that's exciting, and it's fun, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So let's talk a bit more about the area. So when you're heading to the north side of campus, the first thing you'll see is Addition Financial Arena. You can see that pictured here in the top right corner. The arena is where we have our basketball games and volleyball games. We also hold commencements and concerts there as well. Every semester, there's normally a few free concerts for UCS students. We try and get big artists every semester, so be sure to catch a concert during your time here. The arena also holds career and networking events every semester, so I would recommend going to those if you're looking at a particular employer here in the US and want to submit your resume or just want to learn a bit more about the companies here. Next, we have John Juliana Park, which is our baseball field. Our baseball team is very good. We're ranked in the top 25 almost every single year. The park was just recently renovated, so it's a very nice place to go watch a game. The baseball season is during the spring, so normally the weather is absolutely beautiful and perfect, so I highly recommend coming to a baseball game if you come during the spring. Next is the Bounce House, which is our football stadium. 
It's called the bounce house because the place literally bounces. Once everybody in the stadium is jumping, the whole place is jumping. If you're watching on TV, you'll actually see sometimes the camera bobbing up and down. That's how crazy it gets. It's a bit hard to describe in words, so I would definitely recommend looking up videos on YouTube or just coming here to experience it for yourself. And the reason why it gets so crazy is because our football team is also very good. We're consistently a top 25 team. So if you're coming to UCF, you're going to be rooting for a great team and you'll have a great experience at the bounce house. Next is Knights Plaza, which is located next to the arena. There's a gym there, a Barnes and Noble bookstore, an Amazon locker. Um, so if you're actually order, ordering something from Amazon, you could have it shipped there instead of your dorm, and sometimes it's a bit quicker. And we also have a few restaurants in Knights Plaza. We also have a softball field in the Athletics Village, as well as a soccer and track complex where you can watch soccer games and track events. Next, I just wanted to show this picture because I think it's an awesome picture, and I wanted to talk a bit more about the history of UCF. So UCF was actually first founded as FTU, or Florida Technical University, in 1963. And its main mission was providing scholars and personnel to support NASA and the growing space program at the Kennedy Space Center. This picture was taken just outside the football stadium, and it was taken during a SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch in 2019. If you remember from the earlier slide, I mentioned that UCF is just 40 minutes from the Kennedy Space Center, and the 50-yard line on the football field actually lines up perfectly with the latitude of Launch Complex 39A, which is the complex that launched the Apollo missions and now currently supports SpaceX. So a lot of UCF's heritage comes from space exploration, and we can see that even today. But as you can tell from the picture, you'll actually be able to view launches from UCF. SpaceX regularly launches satellites throughout the year, so more than likely you'll be able to catch a launch or two during your semester here. Next, I want to talk about UCF's downtown campus, or what's also known as Union West. Union West is actually UCF's newest campus. It just opened last year in 2019. There's actually a lot more currently being built on the campus. Union West houses a lot of communications classes due to its proximity to the news networks downtown but other classes are available there as well. But if you are a junior or senior level communications major, you more than likely will be taking some, if not most of your classes downtown. Even though it's a small campus, there are a few amenities. There are a few restaurants, a gym, and an hourly shuttle service to the main campus. And due to its location downtown, it is actually within walking distance to many popular places. It's only a 12 minute walk to Exploria Stadium, which is where the Orlando City Soccer Club plays. It's a 15 minute walk to the Amway Center where the Orlando Magic, our NBA team plays, and a lot of concerts are held at the Amway Center as well. It's an 18 minute walk to Church Street, which would be considered the hub of Orlando nightlife. There are a lot of really good bars and restaurants in that area. And it's only 20 minutes to Lake Eola, the lake we spoke about earlier in the presentation. And let's talk about our last campus, the Rosen College of Hospitality Management. This campus is exclusive to hospitality management, event management, and tourism management majors. Only those types of classes are offered there, so you would not be able to take classes there if you're not in those majors. But even if you are not a hospitality major, I would definitely recommend going to the campus just to see it. It is absolutely beautiful and by far our best looking campus and one of the best looking spots in Orlando. Rosen Hospitality is actually the number one hospitality management program in the United States and the number two hospitality management program in the world. So if you're coming here as a hospitality major, you'll be getting a top-notch education. Rosen has its own clinic and bookstore, but if you do need to go to the main campus for whatever reason, there is a free hourly shuttle service back and forth between the campuses. Rosen is actually located right in the mix of the theme park capital of the world. I actually put the approximate distances that Rosen is to the theme parks. As you can see, you can get to any of the theme parks within 15 minutes. Each semester, actually, a few of our students will get an annual pass to the parks. So that might be something for you to consider, especially if you are in Rosen. Now that we've talked about our three main campuses, let's talk about the different housing options that you'll have as an exchange student. First, there's the main campus. Main campus housing is normally very limited, so you might not get housing there, but it is an option. 
Next is downtown. Even if you're not taking classes downtown, you can decide to live there. Like I mentioned, it's our newest campus, so the facilities are brand new. Next is Rosen, which is only available to hospitality majors. If you are a hospitality major, you are guaranteed housing there. Very rarely do our hospitality students live anywhere else, but if you want to live somewhere else, we'll help you out. And lastly, off-campus housing. There are a ton of off-campus housing options for our main campus students. The majority of the housing options have shuttles to the campus, so even if you don't have a car, you'll easily be able to get to class. If this is the option that you want to take, we'll be able to help you out with that as well. Next, let's talk about the different majors that we offer for our exchanges. We have business, communications, engineering and computer science, English, history, hospitality, mathematics, political science, public administration, and statistics. So if you fall into any of these majors, we will be happy to accommodate you. Here we have our semester dates for the fall 2021 and spring 2022 semesters. So you can get an idea of what months you would be here. Our fall semester is normally between August and December, and our spring semester is normally between January and late April, early May. If any of this piqued your interest and you're interested in studying at UCF, here are the steps that you have to take. One, get nominated by your home institution. Contact your global mobility office to see how you can be nominated to UCF. Only students who are nominated can begin the application process. Step two, apply online. Once you receive your home institution's nomination, we will be sending you an email with instructions on how to apply to UCF and UCF abroad. Step three, once that process is started, you'll begin submitting all your required documentation needed to get you registered and enrolled into UCF. Those documents include your passport, English proficiency, your DS-2019 and visa paperwork, immunizations, health insurance, as well as your academic transcripts. After that, once we have you cleared and registered, we'll begin enrolling you into classes. You'll be working with us and your academic advisor at your home university to help choose your classes. Next, during that time, we will also be helping you find accommodations. And then once all that is over, you'll fly over to Orlando, come to UCF, and become a knight. We hold an orientation for our exchange students the week prior to the first week of classes. We'll get you accustomed to UCF and help you with anything that you may need to start your journey here at UCF. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this presentation. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at studyabroad.ucf.edu or you can email us at exchangein at ucf.edu and follow us on Instagram as well. We post a lot of updates on there and you'll be able to see pictures of all our global knights that have gone abroad or those that came from abroad. Thank you, go knights, charge on.